Hey guys, in today's video of how to wire it, we're going to take a look at how to wire up one of these, a DS18B20 Dallas temperature sensor. Now, the great thing about these sensors is that they're accurate and pretty simple to wire up. All we really need in terms of extra hardware is a 4.7K transistor and a couple of hookup wires. So, these sensors, they look pretty similar to a transistor. And if you have the flat side facing towards you, the left pin is ground. The middle pin is the data pin that's going to connect back to our Arduino. And the right pin is positive power. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that in on my breadboard. And I'm going to connect up ground to the left pin and positive to the right pin and data here this yellow wire i'm going to connect to my arduino's pin 10 although basically any pin on your arduino should work now the last thing that we have is this little resistor here and this resistor again it's a 4.7k resistor this connects between the data line and the positive power line. So that's all we really need to do to wire this up. Let's go now take a look at the code and see how that works on here. All right, so here we are with the code. And this tutorial here is going to require both the one wire library and the Dallas temperature library. So if you don't have those, links to them are in the description of this video and you can go and download them and add them to your Arduino setup. And the first thing that we do in this program is we define our one wire bus. So that's this pin 10 that we have our sensor connected to. It may, it's probably different on your Arduino. So make sure you change this number here to match the pin that your sensor is connected to. And the next thing we do is we create a one wire object and we tell it that it's connected to our one wire bus. And the next thing we do is we create our Dallas temperature object, which we link to our one wire bus. So one wire is a communication protocol and it's the protocol that this little sensor uses to talk to our Arduino. It's not like other sensors where it's an analog input or something like that. It's actually more akin to a serial connection. So we connect our one wire object here to our Dallas temperature object called sensors. And then in setup, it's pretty simple. We start the serial line and we print out a little line that just says Dallas temperature IC control library demo. And we start our sensor. So this just this line here just initializes the communication between the Arduino and the sensor. And our loop, as you can see, it's basically just a bunch of serial print statements with this one little temperature reading statement in here. So first thing we do is we just print out requesting temperatures and we send a request to the sensor itself to take a new reading. And then we print out done once that finishes. And the next thing we do is we print out the temperature of the sensor. So we print out a little line here and then we print the temperature in C, in centigrade. If you want to change it to Fahrenheit, it's really simple. You just change the get temp by C index and you make it an F instead. And that'll print out for Fahrenheit. I'm going to leave it centigrade because why not? So yeah, that's all you really need to do. And it's pretty simple to get it running. And you can see most of this is honestly just serial print statements. So let's go check this out. So I'm gonna just open up the serial monitor here and you can see it's requesting and getting temperatures. And remember this is in Celsius and you can see it's actually pretty hot in here because I got my, my big lights here. And if I put my fingers on it, I actually can't really influence the temperature very much because these lights are really heating the sensor up quite a bit. But trust me, it is taking readings and you can change, see that they're changing a little bit each time we print them out. So 
Yeah, it's pretty simple to use, and I will make sure to have links for these libraries up on the description of the video. And yeah, so not too hard to wire one of these up, and they're really accurate and really simple to use. So that's all for this video. I'll see you guys next time.